Hello everyone. Today, we will discuss about women can't accept the truth. Women are told they are superior to men. Therefore, they are unable to accept the truth about who they are. They are told that anything is possible if they put in the necessary effort. However, these claims are untrue. Women and men are distinct. That may sound negative, but it's not the case at all. Men don't have the same limitations or strengths that women do, and vice versa. They are also told that they can take care of everything independently, and that they don't need men to be happy. Accepting that there are gender differences can be pretty tough for someone who has spent their entire life being convinced that they are superior to everyone else. They are furious because of this. They were brought up to think they were superior to everyone else. So it's terrible when they realize this isn't the case. They believe they have been misled their entire lives and think they are entitled to the truth. Men in society have known for a very long time that women prefer cozy lies over the truth. This explains why women are so often the target of pandering, particularly if a business wants to offer them a good or a service and a man wants to have the chance to yell uncontrollably while she has him in her moist vice. Women must be lied to for people to get what they desire. Women are accustomed to hearing lies, so when a real man or woman tells them the truth. It's as if a ton of bricks are thrown at them. Furthermore, women detest change and would rather have everything around them adjust to suit them, instead of recognizing the reality and taking it into account. They continue to act immaturely by choosing to believe the false narrative. In dating and relationships, the same is evident. However, because most women decided they no longer wanted to be nice girls. Elu's shaming is no longer a reality. In their minds, society had to accept their various male sexual relationships. Suppose they decided to F as many men as they wanted. So they spread the myth and misconception that women could have as many affairs as they wished with men and still be suitable for marriage. The threshold was lowered due to society accepting their story and turning the lie into A. That's why it's a commonplace to hear that being a 304 empowers women. While secretly they know they're not, they only wanted the outcome to go their way, so they manipulate the untruth to further their goals. Women's preference for lying is that it forces others around them to change rather than allowing them to adjust. The truth, as we all know, hurts so they don't want to risk damaging their feelings. This is the other reason. Therefore, when you tell them a lie, they will prefer to hear the lie than the cold since it makes them feel good at the time. The reality is that sleeping with 100 men does make the woman a 304, but she doesn't want to hear that because she knows it would be 100 times more difficult to find a man to settle down with in the end and serve as her retirement plan. T. His is what people do when they prioritize how you make them feel over what the situation is. She is therefore insulted by the story because she is aware that it is improbable that males would think such to be true. She'll coerce a man into marrying her, knowing about her past, and she can make that reality come true. The anguish would be too much, therefore. She persuades other women in the same situation to think that having 100 bodies shouldn't matter to convince other women. Then the men, especially the young men, believe the lie until they start to raise enough fuss to further the agenda of the ladies. Society eventually chooses to relax its standards. They successfully misled the next generation to accept their story as fact. And right now, we're seeing a daily decline in a Luke shame among young men and older males who are wiping up three and fours. Please hit the like button for me, you people, as this is a complex subject to analyze in this case. All of this began with a single woman unable to accept reality because of the repercussions her actions would have. She, therefore, chooses to spread a lie to society to gain her desired outcome rather than facing the painful truth. 
Men can't live like this because we told each other accountable. Nevertheless, it demonstrates why they despise the truth and enjoy hearing lies. We must therefore embrace the reality of the situation since we understand that nobody can protect us from the consequences of our decisions. Men have to lead lives like that. And because delusion halts growth and hinders progress, we are aware that we cannot afford to live in it. Men must therefore learn to love the truth in contemporary society. That is the primary distinction between men and women. If I'm being frank with you, most ex-spouses won't accomplish anything or make a significant contribution to society. They also know they will receive assistance so they can afford to lead a delusional existence since they rely on the guys in power to run the nation. It's not as though most 20 will construct or make a substantial contribution besides showing up and leaving work. Most of them can therefore afford to lead a life full of lies. On the other side, guys have no support system. So for most of us, it's done or die. Therefore, it would be unwise to live a life of comfortable lies because doing so would leave us either homeless or dead. Unfortunately, men have to live with that reality because we were not created with a feature that allows us to TW as our legs and access the assistance we require. Men have to become and must become to accept the truth of the world and make the best of the circumstances we are in. This may be a little perplexing, but it distinguishes men from women in this world. Men need to be so feminine that they can work for women since they already possess everything. They must lead respectable lives. Men lack anything of worth at birth. Therefore, we are compelled to accept our situation and the resulting reality. Therefore, cozy falsehoods won't work if no one cares about you. It's because Western society cares a little bit too much about women. The cycle will continually repeat since women have a financial motive to maintain their fantasies and be relatively straightforward. The guys at the top of society who stand to gain from these womanist agendas are those who keep on telling lies, illusions, and deceit. Let's now examine the truth's risk to women and how it is that drug male dominance over females is necessary. The truth is so potent because it compels women to undergo a personal transformation instead of making adjustments to suit them better. They can use falsehood to influence people's thoughts and behavior to forward their objective and not make the change. This compels us to accept less and more minor things, which disadvantages men whenever they spread a lie to further their interests. This is what it seems like whenever they make an effort to gain social acceptance. We choose to agree to their plan of action. When they next try to get us to agree to something, the bar and expectations from before the project will be lowered. And we are aware that their goals are purely selfish and do not serve the interest of men. As a result, we become weaker since men must now accept less and less from women. I'll use one as an example. Regarding the paternity of their children, men have always had equal rights and importance. But, as has always been the case, the mother's task was to nurture, care for, and educate the child, while the father's job was to give protection impart life lessons, and direct the child toward being able to. That has always been the father's responsibility, even though it has been diminished. When the plan for no-fault divorce in terms of child support entered the scene, women found themselves suddenly financially motivated to deny the father his children. As a result, they exaggerated the significance of the father's parenthood, establishing the myth that fathers are unneeded and that women can raise their children independently. Because women can't do it alone. This has brought society considerably more problems. Good parenting involves both parents, because they stand to gain from fathers providing child support. Women favor the deception. The harsh reality is that most of them raise dysfunctional children. I hope you guys understand how that one lie has taken away the power of fathers and their children's lives by allowing them to accept less parentage with their damn children while transferring wealth to the mother and weakening the father financially. The lie states 
that the father's role is not needed in the home and that his contribution is not as significant as the mother's because the mother's contribution carries more weight. So, how has that affected society? We have children raised by a single mother who is an outright danger to society and have a higher chance of becoming a felon than children raised by two parents. We also have children who identify with 500 different genders, mental health at an all-time high, youth with no direction in life, and the list goes on. You see, reality and the truth will always smack a cozy lie in the behind because, no matter what, a constant can't be changed. For example, we all know that if we try to breathe underwater, we will die because that is a constant and always will be. No matter how much we try to convince ourselves that we can do it because fish can, men must live their lives following reality as death is always the end outcome. And in fact, lying can result in your death. I know that scenario was a bit extreme, but it illustrates what I've been trying to explain. Nice, this is where we'll end the video for now. Men can take positions of authority and make rational decisions once they know the truth. View the atmosphere as an illustration. Let's choose the period when males were immersed in the matrix of soulless lies about women in love that benefited women in society as a time to bury this issue. Men lost money because it cost so much to believe that untruth. Kids are free and can play in peace. But as more men began to become aware of the RP and the truth, it gave men the ability to reclaim the things that had been taken from them and given to women in society. Men were no longer required to get married, be in a relationship, fall in love, or give up their money, children's time, peace, and freedom. Going back to the video's initial title, honesty was given to the women to cure them of their lies because doing so would make them more realistic about life and compel them to make the required adjustments for their long-term wellness. See what I mean? Folks, the truth has the power to heal some of these individuals of the sicknesses brought on by the lives they have bought into or to wreck their future. The same holds for the gullible males who believed it. Speaking the truth and making a change will undoubtedly help us get past all of this BS, as would your removal of the toxin of sexual difference from your heads. The video is now finished. Please see my upcoming video. Thank you for watching my Pryfax channel. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day. Cheers.